Today, we are talking about the top 10 special moves in Strive. So you might be wondering, how did we come up with this list? So Chat and I looked at two criteria, how strong the move is in a vacuum. So for example, if this move was on another character, how broken it would it be? Also, if the move was removed from the character, how much would it hurt the character, right? And we'll start with number 10, one of the most underrated moves, Axel's Rainwater. Why is this top 10? It's a plus on block move that leads into a full combo, and the damage you can get from this is absolutely crazy. But not only that, it's probably the best throw bay in the game. All you have to do is run up, do Rainwater, and if they tech or they even if they backdash in the corner, you clip them and you get a full combo, right? Now there's similar, there's other similar moves to this to Strive, like Fuja Arc, but the main differentiator is that this can't be punished on reaction. And it leads to way more damage, right? Axe of Rainwire moves you back, and it can be good just to th uh, throw it out preemptively. Try to catch a poke, and if you catch that poke, you get full damage. So easily deserves to be on this top 10 list. All right, so number nine, we're gonna say Stun Dipper. So Stun Dipper is actually insanely strong. And this is actually one of the most contested moves by chat. I think every single Kai player just loves to downplay the character for some reason, even though the character got top eight at EVO Japan. But this, this move is a five frame low. And all you have to do is look at how, like set the dummy to Stun Dipper on block and look at how much stuff this interrupts. But even then, it has to be one of the best neutral skip Rummy Cancel moves in the game. You can just throw it out YOLO if you have 50 meter. You actually get crazy damage from it because for some reason it barely prorates. It also low profiles so many things being one of the quickest moves in the game. Uh, it's insanely cheap. You can use it for whiff punishes. You can use it for footsies. You can do it, use it for just mashing something out. There's not really a move like this that's uh, YOLO low. And I think that's what makes it insanely strong. Yeah, so number eight, we got Ram Sword Toss. Actually, one of the reasons I made this video is SQ made a very similar video. And SQ being a Ram main, of course had to downplay Ram. You know, everyone has to downplay their own main and did not put Ram Sword Toss on a top 10 list. This move is actually crazy. It has to be one of the best corner pressure tools in the game. No other move that I can think of leads into free plus frames and is super hard to contest the fact where you can keep looping this move over and over again with a very heavily weighted uh mix up in your favor right because you can go for a throw you can go for a block string and they can guess to get out but it's really unfavorable because ram will just explode you if you guess wrong for example with a with a 6p the other thing that i think makes this move really strong is it enables burst safe combos why does ram have burst safe combos in the corner it's super easy you just throw the sword you throw the other sword and uh you can't burst so <laughs> Um, yeah, I, th I think because of this, it's really good. And even in neutral, like if you just want a quick way to close out a round, you just YOLO sword toss. And while it is a resource, you can't do your S normal on block, for example, or S normal anymore. Um, just to throw it out, it's really good. It's also really good if RC pressure, you RC it and then you do like uncharged dust and they just, they, you know, it's a 50 50, right? Uh, it's very good. It's all, all around utility. Um, I think this definitely this is number eight. All right, number seven, we have S Dolphin from May. Um, I think this move is very, very cheap, especially with the most recent buffs. So why is this good? It's a forward, It's one of the best forward advancing moves in the game. Most forward advancing moves are generally really risky, right? Um, but not S Dolphin. You can 6P it, but you can't 6P it on reaction. If it counter hits, it gives you a full combo uh, with command grab. And on normal hit, you still you know, it's, it's still your turn. And even on block, because May's options are so strong overall, and because it's so quick, you're against a lot of characters. It's actually your favor if they block it, right? So even though it's minus three on block, because May's rock, paper, scissors game is so good after S Dolphin, um, it's, can be, it can be very hard to contest. All right, so number seven is one of my least favorite moves in the game. It's Nagaruki DP. Now you might be wondering why did I not put Nagaruki Beyblade or clone on this? And it's because I just have a, I have a hatred towards Nagaruki DP. It is by far the best round start in the game. Not even close. Yeah, Nagaruki's DP is number six. I, I just can't count guys, sorry about that. That's how frustrated this move gets me. It, it makes it so I can't even count. But yeah, best round start in the game. Not only does it beat 
almost every option from every character so for example i'm playing bedman now and i literally cannot do anything about dp round start other than like a micro dash 2p that's a one frame link if i mess it up i die so it's totally not worth it so i either just have to jump or back dash out of the way which means nagaruki can is winning from round start and if nagaruki dp carrots you you basically might as well go back to character select because you just lost the round this move does insanely good damage and it's just it controls round start so good and for especially like a one-shot character like nagaruki it's exactly the tool he needs not to mention um even on block it's still a mix-up because he can special cancel it he can delay the second hit it's just a really really good move to to throw out all right so number five we have bridget yo-yo toss <laughs> so this move is insanely good as well now as a being which bridget move to put on here um whether it's the roll or the yo-yo toss because they kind of work in conjunction but i think yo-yo toss deserves to be on here because it's just any character could use this right it's just it's too cheap this move especially 214s the the yo-yo that comes back controls neutral too well right you throw it out it's extremely not committal and it forces the opponent to do something right they either have to approach and make you block in order for the yo-yo to go away or they have to push themselves back to the corner and if they push yourself back in the corner you get plenty of opportunities to mix and if they go in between you you just back off you let the yo-yo come back and you get a free 50 50 bridget can just snowball off of one free 50 50 it's extremely cheap it forces the opponent to take risk you can even do some really cheap stuff like uh throw in a block string and because it's so quick and if the opponent doesn't react right away you'll get a free counter hit it's like almost impossible to react to and this also enables her set play right 2k 2d throw out the yo-yo and then you get two 50 50s in a row <laughs> it's the main reason why i think bridget's uh quite strong in this patch all right number four is chip Rekka. so chip Rekka has to be the best strike move in the game it's basically a mix up on block so you can go into it safely you can do a true block string with it you can make it frame trap you can pretty much do whatever you want with this move and even if they block the first Rekka, the second mix the second Rekka is a mix up right you can either go low you can go overhead if it counter hits you get way too much damage <laughs> um so it's basically a mix on block so this this character can just continually wreck a pressure you wreck your pressure you wreck a pressure you and um it's very oppressive now there's a couple other things this move does that makes it really cheap it can convert into super so any far poke in the wreck a wreck -a, easiest confirm in the super and you get positive bonus and positive bonus is super busted with chip because of Rekka. So what you can do is once you have positive with chip, you do a safe jump, you go into Rekka, you go into 50, 50 with the overhead or low that you can't react to this patch because they decide to make the overhead faster and you just keep looping over and over and they basically die because chip is busted with positive bonus. You can also vary the timing. You can do so much tricky stuff with Rekka easily deserves to be number four on this list all right so number three is gonna sound kind of weird and i i could have put a few command grabs on this like nagaru command grab i'm gonna put potemkin post buster as number three i think it's by far the best command grab in the game um i mean you just have to do it once you see the amount of damage it does the amount of core carry you get it's pretty much all you need to see but this pop buster people don't realize it's actually disjointed so like a lot of command grabs or even just regular throws in this game you could just mash out of them right because they're so involved but for some reason potemkin's pop buster you can't really do that and so you have to take a greater risk like jump out or backdash and it makes it even harder to deal with now you might be wondering if pop buster is number three on the list why is Potemkin so bad? And it's because everything else about Potemkin is not good, right? Just imagine if this was attached to a character like Chip or Happy Chaos or Ramlethal and they can use their mobility to get in. They make you block one normal and it's like, oh, wait, I free Pot Buster into, into death, right? <laughs> it's because Potemkin really doesn't have the mobility to take advantage of of the pot buster quite well is why people think he's weak not because pot buster isn't isn't strong and it's just better than other command grabs right another comparable command grab is i, I think the second best command grab in the game is maze command grab and just mid screen it does so much less damage than the maze command grab 
that I, I think he easily deserves um, the spot. The only downside is, for example, in the corner, Mace Command Grab can lead into Super, which you get a Super Wall Break. But uh, no, I'd much rather, much, much, much rather have Pop Buster. All right, number two on the list is heavy dp from leo now i think reversals in general are pretty cheap in this game uh, are very very strong um and some other specials like sins dp for example i think could arguably top t be top 10 in this list because just of the strength of reversals but i think leo heavy dp is easily the best reversal so it has a few things going for it right it's a flash kick motion which means you hold down and up this makes it relative way easier to get out because you can still block while inputting the motion for dp which means you can get out quicker which means that you can you you won't have to risk getting hit um while dping right so um that alone makes it one of the best but the oki that you get from this is so strong and was this is the reason leo is such a good character right because if you get hit by one heavy dp you go in the back turn and you get mixed up right it's literally a game winner if leo can just win one just get one heavy dp and you can die from it i mean you just put this move on anyone it's going to be absolutely ridiculous and even if you block the move it's really good on defense it's really good after rc right so you can rc you can make it safe and you get a mix up after you rc you can go high you can go low you can go for immediate cross up um this move is just insanely good um, definitely the best DP in the game. I think DPs in general are strong because um, you can force the opponent to keep things really safe. And if you keep things safe, then um, you lose some mix up opportunities. So very, very, very good move. All right. So you might be wondering what almost made the list. And there's a lot of good moves in Strive. And here's some of the uh, examples I have. But chat, feel free to put some examples of moves you didn't think were in here. Right. So. Uh, the first one is Zato. I think Zato is a very strong character. And the reason I didn't put Zato on this list, uh, any of his Eddie moves, is just because like one Eddie move didn't really stand out from the other, right? I think they're all about equally as strong, right? Pierce is very good. I, my initial impression was to put Drills because anytime you get them to block Drills, it's a free 50-50. But again, I think the other moves just in the vacuum are better than uh, Eddie moves, right? Um, Bridget Scooter, I think, is really strong. One of the best neutral skip moves in the game. And you get a free 50-50. Uh, with RC, you can make a plus on block. Um, but again, I think uh, Stun Dipper RC is just a little bit stronger because it can't be contested as easily. Elk Hunt is really good too. Um, I, th I think uh, Sin Elk Hunt is just really, really strong move. Low profiles a lot. It's plus on block if you spend the meter. Um, but again, um, the fact that it costs meter, I think, was a downside to it. Uh, Kapple, I think, is very, very good. I, I should have made this list because I hate Milia. It should have made the list. It's basically like an air DP. <laughs> but there's counterplay to it. I don't know. Kapple could have easily made the list. I think everything else is just a little stronger. Yozonsen, I think, is really strong. Uh, Biken's overhead. Not only is it instant overhead, but it can be used to like for your jump-ins to get double overheads. It's really what makes the character's mix-up potential just truly shine. Also, it crosses up if you set it up right. And the last is minion attack from Jacko. I think, again, Jacko is one of those things where it's like Jacko just has a lot of moves that kind of like all work together. And I don't think anyone particularly stands out. But if, if one did stand out as minion attack, the fact that you can basically be plus on command, I think, is uh, really, really strong and lets you set up extended pressure sequences or infinite block strings with uh, 50 meter for the, the super. All right, with all those being said, chat, you have to guess what is number one in the game. Yeah, I think it should be pretty obvious. There's something missing here. There's like a certain character missing here. And yes, it's Happy Chaos. And this actually, I'm gonna say is 5H and not steady aim. Um, the reason being like, if you literally look in training mode and you look at the command move list, 5H for Happy Chaos, his gun is listed as a special move. Okay, sure. Um, so we'll say Happy Chaos 5H, but uh, arguably it could be a number of different parts of this kid. I think this character is crazy. I think this character is number one in the game currently, easily. Um, and the strongest thing about Happy Chaos is his gun. And I think 5H in particular meets this requirement because it's literally a one frame move. You just press the button and a shot comes out. This is what enables all his BS, right? This is what lets you set up the steady aim shots to be plus on block. This is what enables the roll cross up to, to be a cross up. 
Um, this is what enables you to whiff a button with Happy Chaos, and then you think you get a whiff punish, and then he just shoots the gun, <laughs> and you actually got whiff punished. Yeah, it's just, it's insanely good. But anyways, uh, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. How do you think about this list? Do you think anything else should have been, should have been on the list? Let me know. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Hackerman hack should be a first place. That's true.